don't forget to check out Dope Appeal on Instagram at underscore D-O-P-E-A-P-P-E-L. Dope Appeal have all your latest t-shirt needs. That's right. I'm talking about custom tees. Custom tees that can be matched up with any shoe, whether it's a high heel or a tennis shoe, a dress shoe. Make sure you shop Dope Appeal. Trust me. Now, this this one right here goes out to Spotlight Digital Media. Okay, this is all for you, baby. Spotlight Digital Media. Before you try to come on my channel and question my video, you should answer some of the questions that people are asking you on your own channel. See, people are asking you this on your own channel and you're not even responding to it. Here, here it is. Here go some of the comments. You know, here go a ton of comments right here that you you didn't even say nothing about them. You didn't even respond. They waiting for answers. Like they said, you didn't ask the right questions. You did not. He was saying the same shit over and over again. He already did that three interviews ago. So then you come on my page and tell me, oh, well, stay tuned for part two. Bitch, you supposed to have it clicked done in part one. It don't take all that. But next time you need no filter news and talk help, just ask. Don't try to throw shade. Just ask me if you ask me to. Okay? If you ask me to, I just might say, yeah. I would have helped you with the cowboy interview. I don't even know you, and clearly you needed some help because you blase your ass over there on my channel. See, now I'm going in like Thaddeus Matthews. <laughs> You blase in on my channel talking about uh, all this, all this mess that you're talking about, but you're not even responding to the people on your own channel. You know what I'm saying? You got way more views than I got on my own on, on my video on Cowboy. So why the fuck you over there? Oh, you feel intimidated, and you working with him? See, because you put some now. Now that I have you right here, you put something in his mouth. And he didn't even say that. You was like, well, we all know that you would have took a bullet from for Nip. <laughs> when? We all know what? We didn't know that. We didn't. I, who knew that? Who? Who? who uh, did he? Did he? Did he? Because he could have bust out that door and ran to his side and then took the took that bullet. He was right there at the door. I'm gonna tell y'all when he got to the door. Since I since I have you here, shit, fuck it. Let's let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> Um, we all know that he was right there after the, after the four shots. So it seemed like Nip was shot six times. Pow, pow, step back, pow, pow, step back, and then pow, pow, and then he went up and kicked him. Them last two shots could have been prevented had Cowboy opened the door. Let's keep it 100. Since we keeping it 100, and since you speaking up for him, cause you probably right there with him. I mean, let's keep it. Let let let's keep it a buck for real. Let's keep it a buck. Them last two shots, which was one of them was the head shot. Nip probably would have still been here had Cowboy just opened the door. Okay, so since you coming on my page and you're not even asking the right shit, you talking about part two, you ain't even asked the right stuff for part one. Who authorized the video footage for Shell? Who works at Shell? We need him to know who works at Shell. Who released it? Come on now. Okay, he don't want to be a snitch. Okay, well, what about the... Uh, the marathon cameras. We all know that the marathon was flooded with cameras, okay? From 2017, they upgraded to some new ones in 2018 and 19, you know? So, we, the cameras was working. Where are the footage? Where's the camera footage to the store at? Did you ask him that? No, you didn't ask him that. Why were the Shell gas station footage blurred out? Why was they blurred out in the back and who was there? Because you can clearly see there was a few people there. There was a few people there that they blurred out. And they blurred out Cowboy standing right there in that glass. Now, you didn't watch my previous video because I said... Nope, I wouldn't have been mad at Cowboy for standing there because he didn't have, he probably didn't have no gun on him. And instead of trying to be Superman, you know, just say, 
just say you know you was a you you was afraid. You know he might not say he was afraid, but just say you didn't have no gun and you didn't want to go out there. See, those are the questions, honey, that you should have been asking. And what about Carrie's son? Was Carrie's son there? Cause Carrie's son got picked up. Why ain't nobody touched on that? See, if you needed no filter help, all you had to do was ask no filter. Don't come for me unless I sin for you. And that's real shit. So you need to respond to your shit. Sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. Let me clean this shit up on your own page. Answer your own questions on your own page. Answer people got questions on your own page. Answer them before you come over there asking me any motherfucking thing. You didn't ask the right shit. And yeah, I put my video up. Pull up. I put my video up about about how Cowboy sporting some new ice. I ain't never seen him sport the new ice. I just strolled all up and down this timeline. But like I said, maybe he been had it. But you're going to say all up in this man's business. You're a gossip. You damn right I'm a gossip. Your ass supposed to be a gossip. So the next time you need my help, just ask. Now that, that was right there. That was 1% of what could have been done. I, I, I'm really trying to keep my cool. But don't come for me. <laughs> don't motherfucking come for me period and that's my oh and by the way bitch make sure you like share and subscribe bye bye